oh yeah the monkey there was a monkey on the loose in tokyo talk about organized crime here here's the real deal so i got um you know being in the, the the you know having a kid in school there there are these sort of local district um updates on um in fact i wonder if it will do this without playing sound let me explain I live in um, an area of the sun going to school. There are updates that you get from the police if there are like suspicious people walking around. And one of those updates came in, and but it wasn't about a suspicious person. It wasn't even in the area that I live. It was about a monkey on the loose in Tokyo. Uh, of course, Japan has monkeys. There are Nipponzaru. They're, they're literally Japan monkeys. Uh, you don't normally get monkeys. You get them all over the place in Japan, but not inside Tokyo. Apparently, one was spotted in Arakawaku, and uh, yeah, it was actually causing... I wanted to show you the video because it was actually... There were, there were TV crews running all over Tokyo trying to find this one monkey. It's like a little cat-sized monkey that's running around. Um, they, can, they can be pretty nasty in towns that have them and have a lot of them. They can attack people. They, they You know, they're pretty mobile. Um, they bite and whatnot, you, you know, you can get rabies and stuff from them. So, you know, you don't want to approach them. And that's what the notice was. If you see a monkey, um, you know, run away and don't startle it. Don't try to feed it. Um, so yeah, TV crew started scouring Tokyo for the monkey and, uh, one, uh, TBS camera crew found it. And, uh, when they did, they immediately startled it and chased it. Uh, they did all the things while warning people not to do what they were doing. Uh, the monkey got away. Um, it's still been on the loose for a couple of days. It's been migrating from Nishi Nippori through Nippori through Kitaku, uh, Kitaku. And, um, yeah, no, no update. They haven't been able to catch it. The police were sort of chasing it. It was great entertainment on the news, but, uh, yeah, monkey on the loose in Tokyo. It was actually, um, it was, it was kind of nice. <laughs> it was nice to see something different. So that was a thing that happened. Final comments. We've got AV84K. The police tell the monkey to stop monkeying around. I'm sure they did. Uh, that that are many other things. Kerberos Tenshi. Japan is quite the problem with wild animals on the loose, like wolf dogs. Um, okami. I don't know. They're okami. Are you talking about raccoon dogs? Tanuki, tanuki are everywhere. Yeah, those are those are a thing. Including Hakubishing as well lately. Now you've got uh, civets and stuff like that. Yeah, they, they, there's definitely the thing about Japan is that Tokyo is enormous, but it's also incredibly dense, and it's not far to get to mountains. Um, you know, and, and, and to rugged nature. The thing, and, and when you get to it, it's so rugged. You know, it's so mountainous that you can't build anything on it. So yeah, absolutely, that's a good point, Kubra Stanchi. There is nature not far away from anywhere. Um, uh, Magpie882, if you add the monkey to Bora, Inoshishi, yeah, that was running around in January 2020, that was in Fukuoka, by the way, they have the full Zodiac set, indeed, the Zodiac monkey, you know, that could very well be the case, that, that, the Inoshishi are scary as hell, I mean, boars, right, um, those things, um, can do a lot of damage to people. Uh, こちらの男性はこれ見てもらえばわかると思うんだけどもこれ今日午後建物の間を走る猿を撮影していました猿ってびっくりだよね東京の住宅街に突如現れた野生の猿男性にインタビューをした<笑> 15分後でした。猿です。猿です。猿。痛い痛い痛い痛い。猿がいました。猿がいま。フェンスの持ってます。痛い痛い痛い痛い。カメラが捉えたのは住宅の隙間を優雅に歩く猿の姿。しかし、
この地域に40年住む男性は猿が出てくるなんて信じられないです区は猿を目撃した場合近づかない刺激しないよう呼びかけています。